Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are Greg and Jess. We are Drifter Journey. We live in our van. Uh, we've actually taken some time off recording to get a bunch of adulting done in Colorado. We got sick of it, so we headed up to the mountains. And now we're gonna go fishing. Yeah, but the storm's coming <laughs> and it's windy, so fly fishing may not be the most successful. Uh, but make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. And one other thought I've had recently if you shop at Amazon at all, click on our Amazon link. It's the first thing in the uh, description below. You can buy anything you want and it'll give us a couple pennies here and there. Nothing costs to you. That's right. You shop on Amazon, we get to eat more tacos. Exactly. <laughs> all right, let's go catch some fish. Fun fact, this is a burn area and it was burnt last year, one of the biggest fires in Colorado history. And uh, the smoke plume was so big that it was actually raining ash on us while we were building our van at my dad's house, 80 miles away. And we're in the Comanche Peak Wilderness. Which is where we met. Well, I guess technically we weren't in the wilderness where we met. <laughs> we were on campus, which was next to the Comanche Peak Wilderness. Very close by. To the bone, but still, you're not alone. Falling short on we got two little brook trout in this hole. Oh, they're spooked. <laughs> Maybe they'll come back out. It's kind of breezy. It's time to move on. Caught a pine needle, so that's something. Don't walk away and look for miles around. There's nothing new in this town. We just stand behind Rocky Mountain National Park on the other side of the bridge here. What? Okay, it's boundary. Ooh. MPS. Wow. You can get up some money fast from here, too. Huh. Uh, we haven't had much luck so far. But By much, you mean no. None. I thought maybe I got a bite, but I'm pretty sure I was just dragging on the bottom and catching algae. The uh, river seems to be pretty sooty from the fire runoff, so we can't really see. Um, so we're gonna start Go try walking. And entice some brook trout in the little creek. Yeah, we're gonna head back to the van because it's getting dark and storms coming, uh -huh. and uh, maybe hit that little creek because it might be a little easier. And we actually saw fish there, so. The moon came out. That's how you know it's nighttime. What? Oh. Oh. Now we're back in the van and it's dark out. We're gonna eat some food. We aren't gonna starve because we had some food with us. <laughs> but we did not catch any fish. The plan was to provide our own meal. Which uh, we have by earning money and paying for food at the grocery store. Yeah, <laughs> and I will say if it were squirrel hunting season like we thought it was, we probably would have ate. Yeah. But you guys are just gonna have to wait till a later date to see some squirrel uh, cooking. Bet you can't wait. What else do you want to know? Um, so we're gonna stay the night here tonight in the trailhead or whatever we're in. I don't know what this is. Pull out. Mm -hmm. And um, 
decide what we're going to do tomorrow. We have a lot of options. What are our options? We fish? Fish in the little creek on the way down to the river that we actually saw fish in. Mm -hmm. We could hike into Rocky Mountain National Park and just see the sights because that looks beautiful. Based off the two miles we did today with minimal climbing. We're not in the best shape. We're not used to the elevation. That's what I'm going to blame it on. Okay. Sure. <laughs> good morning, guys. We slept pretty good. We're getting ready for another day of fishing. We already had breakfast tacos and turned on the propane heater in the van this morning. What was the temp in here when we woke up? It was only 58. It was only 58 in here. Felt chilly, though. So Greg's getting his waders on. I mean business today. <laughs> uh, we're getting some snacks and everything. It's kind of chilly out. Yeah, it is a little chilly, so I'm going to bundle up. I'd rather uh, take layers off later than be cold all day. And we're going to hike back in and try to catch some fish today. We're hiking in. How do you feel about our chances of catching fish today? About 100%. Ooh, confident. Yeah. <laughs> First attempt of the day. Good brook trout. On to the next spot. He went away. <laughs> okay. He's just little guy. And the sun came up on the Mississippi. Is this? Trouble voices and dance with smiles. I need my help. First catch of the day. How's it feel? Oh, amazing. So exciting? Yeah. But soon her memory, it faded away. And I'd love to see that girl again someday, but she's gone. I got. And I got no money, I got no job. I think of the future and my head it thrives So I stole a car, I was moving fast Gotta find the one that I love best That I love best And I'll never stop, Lord, I'll never rest Till the sun comes up on the Mississippi mile Trouble voices and desperate smiles I'm calling you up to say goodbye We've got an exciting find These are low bush cranberries Blueberry. Or blueberries. You really tiny. Right here. That's a big one. Yeah. We've never found blueberries in Colorado before. Here's what it looks like. They're really sweet. Mm. Are they on the big one? They're good. I think they're all good. But here's some. Here, let me get you a handful. The plants just come right out of the ground. Here. Can't believe how tiny they are. No. Yeah. They're fine. Okay, we foraged a bunch of berries. My last handful for the moment. 
we're gonna keep on walking down the river and see if we can find more fish. I don't think there are any fish in this river. Greg's grumpy. Yeah. We haven't caught any fish except for that first tiny one. Which I just did a 100% guarantee of catching fish. So. <laughs> yep. All right, onwards. running out of spots to fish. We started heading back to the van to go back up the creek where Greg caught that first small one. And uh, those holes are empty, so midday, I don't know what's going on. We're gonna keep looking until we get back to the van, but we may have gotten skunked today, who knows. Oh, he's a decent sized one. A little brookie. Yeah. Yep. Sure. He's an eater. Uh, open line. Yeah, I got it. You got it? Yeah. Yeah. Nice, babe. Oh, he's so pretty. Got the uh, white bands on their Ooh. fins and bluish reddish dots. I guess barely eats right now. There's not much fish to eat. Good looking fish. Although we didn't catch anything else for the rest of the day and weren't successful at our goal of providing a full dinner for ourselves. Spending time on the river is always time well spent. The fading summer sun and fall colors are a reminder of the changing of the seasons and that it's almost time for us to leave cold climates for the winter. Until then, we're off to another one of our favorite fishing destinations in Northern Colorado. We are in Steamboat Springs area and we're back on Secret our, spot. Yeah, back on our Colorado hunting and fishing excursion. So um, we fished at this spot before and have had good luck and fun. We don't know if it's going to be crowded now because quite a bit of the other fishing areas in the Steamboat area have been closed due to low water levels. So we're hoping this spot's not blown up. Uh, it's cool because we can camp right by the river and fish anytime we want. I'll show you guys when we get there. Okay, we got a campsite. I've spent hours below this bridge trying to catch this <laughs> fish that they're all staring at. It's probably it maybe a different one by now. But different fish, yeah. But it's going to be a big one because they sit right under this bridge. And I did get a bite. But I you had, had the fish on. Well, yeah, no, he took it. Yeah. I just had a bad knot and it snapped up. Yeah. Greg was very upset that day. But the spot's blowing up. There's four guys in the river right here. So we'll have to come back early in the morning before they get here yeah. and take over. Yeah. We're getting ready. Greg initially said he wasn't going to fish tonight because it was crowded, but a couple people just left. And we've got probably about an hour of daylight. So this is a good time to fish. Right at sunset, we'll see if they bite. Everyone was tangled up in someone else's vine. Father, mighty father, did you we draw the line? What's the answer? And I used to have a brother. Any luck? Dreaming just like me. Fish aren't hungry? Tomorrow. 
<laughs> Manana. It got cold. So we're gonna go back to the van and make some dinner. Not a fish dinner, unfortunately. How are you doing? Hey, how are you? Excellent. Well, supernatural is a feeling. It can save you in the night. Supernatural left me reeling. You know I couldn't even fight. Oh. Over here, slaying fish. Second one, yeah, Greg right. found a honey hole. Back to back. They're small. Bring this monster in. <laughs> That's the big one. Oh, yeah. Beyond that borderline. Show you guys. A little rainbow trout. I was feeling lucky. Gave me quite a time on a Sunday. And maybe I was ready for this. Maybe I was bummed. Maybe I had given up, given all I got Somehow when he came to me for another shot I was thirsty Ah! Got him! That's good. Yeah! Sometimes just when you say I got it, three. This is a brook trout. He's got the uh, white Blazes on his fins there, and then you can see the the blue spots with the red center. He's beautiful. Greg's first catch of the day. Looks to be a decent size, huh? Yeah. Can you help? Oh yeah. That's the biggest rainbow we've seen here. As a update on the day. We've caught quite a few fish actually, but they're all really small. Only one keeper so far. Um, we found some honey holes, but they're not biting. It's about a quarter to six, so we're probably gonna fish up to the van for a little bit and then call it a day. But it's been really good weather. And how many fish did you catch, Greg? He doesn't know. Probably at least six or seven, right? Yeah, we both caught really tiny ones. I think I got record for new smallest, which was like, <laughs> so small. Good morning, another day. We're going fishing again. Uh, Greg's not very excited about what's going on on the river today. When we showed up two days ago, we saw all those big like excavator diggers in the parking area, and we were kind of asking around what was going on. And they're uh, apparently modifying the river to make deeper holes for the fish. We don't know if that's to make it better or harder fishing or if it's actually to protect the fish. There's been drought here the last couple years and they've had to close portions of the Yemba because the fish get stressed. So if they have deeper holes, then it's not as hard for them to survive uh, during drought. So it's one or the other. But regardless, there's some big machines driving around right in the middle of the river right now. Kicking up all kinds of mud. Yeah, so. It's gonna be murky. A couple just walked by and said that they were here a couple days ago and fished while they were working and caught some big fish. So maybe the mur murky water will help. We'll see. Got an update. The construction is not helping. <laughs> um, I caught two fish pretty quickly. One of them was big enough to keep, so 
He is sitting in the baggie in the river. Um, but it is real murky now. It's like fishing in chocolate milk. Which actually makes me thirsty for chocolate milk. But, uh, yeah. So, not sure what else we're going to do today if this doesn't work out. Craig said we could wait till lunchtime and then fish this evening. Once the work's done, it'll probably clear out relatively quickly. Morning update. We were gonna go fishing before the uh before the diggers came out and the diggers came out at 7 a.m. today yeah. it's uh it's, it's like a chocolate milk river right now so guess we're gonna move on figure something out we're all packed and headed out so that wraps up this video hopefully you guys didn't get too bored watching us slay all those fish yeah <laughs> Um, we're gonna call it on this spot because, like Craig said this morning, the river's really muddy again. We'll show you here in a second. It didn't clear up last night when they were done, um, so there's really no point. We're gonna just go find somewhere else to hang out. So we are driving away. The bed is full of stuff. There's the Milky Way River. Um, but as always, thank you guys for watching. You'll have to uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications to see when we launch new videos. We're not really sure where we're going to head next. Um, we're going to go into town and get some service and figure that out. So please like, leave us a comment, say hi. And uh, also, if you shop on Amazon, feel free to shop through our link. We yeah. get a small commission and it's no added cost to you. So what is the porta potty guy? <laughs> porta potties are getting clean today. <laughs> Rural porta potty guy.